Detention, a dull but necessary form of punishment or an opportunity to restore relationships with pupils. Assistant Principal Marianne Stewart is responsible for behaviour at Bonus Pastor Catholic College in South East London. So you think 10 laps of the PE field is really, that's yes. the best one. So would that be good for me to do in English if you didn't do your homework, I can send you for 10 laps of the PE field. Would that be effective? Well, let's get our PE kits on then. For me personally, I like to actually, the children call it a lecture, I like to talk to them about their work and try to find out why it is they're not doing their homework, why it is they're disrupting. Um, and have an open dialogue and sometimes we'll look at work together. I find it impossible actually to ignore a child if they're sat with me. Why do we need students to really learn from their mistakes? Why? What's the ultimate outcome? To learn a lesson so you know not to do it again and again and again. You may have a child sitting there and they may do beautiful work in your detention and then that would beg the question, well, why didn't you do it in the first place? It could be a new baby's been born, it could be the family have recently moved, could be a housing issue, space issue. So um, there could be family difficulties, which, which is really good to bring to light. There is no point giving the child a detention and they sit in the room for half an hour because you're not gaining anything, the student's not gaining anything. What we try and say at State Newington School is you have a detention, it's a restorative detention. So it's a conversation. How did you get here? How are you going to get out of here? How are you going to make sure you don't get back in here again? It also gives you an opportunity, I think, to give valuable one-to-one -one time with pupils. And most pupils, however naughty they may have been in a class, on one-to-one, -one are absolutely fine. Uh, so you can use a detention to build a relationship with a pupil, which ho hopefully will become positive or more positive and give them a chance to improve. Some detentions you can, like, they tell you what you did wrong, so that is fair, but if like they just tell you to sit in silence and then they tell you you can go. It's not really fair because you don't know what you did wrong and if you do it again then you get the same tension and you don't know why. Are detentions punishments? The silly ones are like when a teacher asks you to like fill in a squared piece of paper because you're not really learning what you've done wrong, you're just filling in a blank piece of paper. Well, I've got a question for you. Do you like filling in the blank piece of paper? Yes no. or no? Very simply. No. So it's a no. So is it working then? Would it deter you? Would it act as a deterrent so you wouldn't do that thing again or you would remember to do the thing you should have done? It would frustrate me, but still, like, I wouldn't do it again. A detention is about detaining people. It is a punishment. It's part of the sanction of the school. And therefore, our detentions are pretty grim. They run on a Friday afternoon. They run for an hour, uh, quarter to four through till quarter to five. Students sit individually at desks facing the front with a large clock which ticks loudly and the youngsters sit in silence. And it is not a very pleasant experience and it has gained a kind of mythological status across the school. And we think that that's a good thing because we think that if you've been messing about or if you've been constantly truanting or something like that, then there should be a sanction which is not simply saying you're going to get on with your coursework. I personally very rarely would give a whole class detention, but sometimes you do find as a teacher and as a leader or a manager that there are peaks and troughs with children, especially teenagers. They may have a very strong work ethic at one point in the year and then this could slip and slide. Sometimes when, a whole when there's a whole class detention, not everybody did the wrong thing. It's just it's hard for the teacher to pick out who exactly did it. A small minority of the class might have done something wrong, but everyone else, just for the sake of being in the wrong place at the wrong time, is punished with it. So I think they do work, but they need to be sort of for individual um, purposes. I think what works well is if you have the class there and then, because to keep a whole class detention, if you had them during period three, it's a very difficult to manage and will create more problems for the teacher themselves than because some children will instantly come back, they'll be reliable, but then others wouldn't come and then that would start chasing game, locate the children, contacting other people. It involves lots of people for something that could be dealt with in-house. I think 
it's tempting if you have centralised attentions for teachers to pass things upwards, to teachers to pass things up the line, and that would be from a classroom teacher, newly qualified to somebody who's been teaching 30 years, uh, heads of departments. If there is a situation where things can be passed up, often they might be, and we certainly want to really move away from that because it does not empower the teacher at all. Some teachers are more harsh, so some students don't really like to have attention with them, so they sort of respect more the teachers and some other teachers they don't really have the control that that thing to control the class so they don't they misbehave more we we do do centralized attentions for attendance now the detention on a friday afternoon or a wednesday lunchtime is designed to get the whole group of people that have been late twice in that week there and to, to confront really what's going on. But for behaviour, we would suggest that the teacher that had behaviour or work rate issues, work ethic, homework, needs to resolve that themselves. And of course, call on the support of us. But to have all the children in one room that have been disruptive is not our style at the college. The detention now, for someone my age, we wouldn't take it very seriously. We wouldn't try to avoid it as much as we would back then because we were smaller and we didn't really understand. Do you think you'll still feel as uncomfortable when you're at the top of the tree in year 11? How about if I bring into it GCSEs and I say, for example, oh. um, I'm very disappointed, think five years on, I'm very disappointed that you did not hand in your Charles Dickens coursework. Can you explain why you didn't do that? Did it feel comfortable? Mm. I have detentions with my students to go through exam papers. They're good detentions for the students. If the students arrive to the lesson and a vast majority or a large number have not completed their homework, a very easy thing to do is to put all the children who have not completed their homework towards the rear of the classroom and the ones who have submitted their homework to the front. Those people at the back have to then sit and write the homework because they're behind and that needs to be done. It's not just an add-on. And then the people at the front get a lesson of their own choice. When you um, the years go by, you get less because in the real world, um, teachers are not going to be there giving you detention. So I think it's like they're saying, it's not, I'm not going to keep you anymore, it's up to you. We, we sort of say, well, if you don't set detentions, then you must have a good reward system in place within your classroom so that children are not working to avoid something, they're working to receive something. Detentions have varied from your 7 to your 11 because in year seven, it was more of you sit there in, in silence, you know, because you've misbehaved. Whereas in year 11, you might stay behind because now it's GCSEs, it's more serious. If people resort to detention straight away, it can become very negative, very punitive. The relationship that you, one could have had with that class can be destroyed. To start with a new class from a very positive um, stance by expecting them to do well, praising them when they do, deliver the goods, sharing all the good practice, highlighting it, publicising it, giving lo the, uh, treats in terms of learning. For example, would you like to work at my computer today? A child will love, a younger child will love to sit at the teacher's desk and work. So from a positive perspective, if uh, detentions are being avoided, you have to have a system of giving, I would say.